two. There we go, Ganondorf. Okay. This is gonna be interesting to see as a, you know, a character who's very light versus a character who, you know, historically kills pretty early. So yeah. The biggest thing we're also gonna be on the lookout for Dom for. Dom will go for some very wild rests in this game. I believe it. Finally seeing that we're finally seeing the first connection from Ganondorf to Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to remember does rest kill oh uh, you were right though, it does go for some pretty crazy. It ones. could kill at this percent, but um it's not, not like when you levels. not when you miss like that, honestly. Okay. But you know, that's that's kinda of the reason why he can get so many ambitious rests like that, is cause well for every one big success you gotta have like at least like a hundred failures or so before that point. Yeah. I think the biggest thing too is is like Pretty good luck for Bowser, especially since like Jigglypuff, is such a hard little demon to hit. Mm -hmm. This is personally my least favorite character in all of Smash history. And they made back air long again, didn't they? They made back air long. Oh my goodness, I I didn't want to hear that. That, <laughs> that hurts my soul to hear. All right, well, Bowser taking next off, showing off the new tech he learned this weekend. You. Okay. Almost thought we were gonna see a rest coming up pretty soon, but now he's at the prime percentage for it. Oh yeah, no, now he's at the primo percent for rest. Getting Gan inside it though, returning on the stage, keeping him safe. Good up smash, racking up percent, already at kill percent for Bassett. Good patience from both of them in his advantage. Dom could have gone for a rest, but he wanted to see if he just try and attack or not. I'm really loving the use of float from uh, Bassett coming out so far. Oh yeah, Bassett, one of the things Bassett is very good at using is float, and this comes from his Mewtwo gameplay. Okay. Actually, so you, being able to use a float that isn't even directional, it's like much easier to use too, also mm -hmm. probably helps him out a lot. Takes a lot of pressure off his mental. And I can imagine he's pretty comfortable now that uh, he doesn't have to make any approaches or anything like that, but that might change pretty soon if uh, Dom Max starts to find himself in the lead. Oh yeah, that might change, but in the meantime, it's still even, and Dom is very much within kill percent, so mm -hmm. just gonna have to wait and see. And up throw. But of course, Bassett's almost getting there himself once rest is on the table. Very good tech, very quick up air off the platform to secure another stock, bringing Dom down to his last one. And now he's at that point where rest becomes a little less viable as you could take a lot of damage or just die for going for that, something like that. Yeah, so logistically you'd have to take less risk with rest in this situation because it could lead to your last time oh. being death, but we all know how we, we all know how it is. Sometimes logistics oh. need to be taken advantage of. Sometimes really you just gotta close. be crazy enough to go for a rest here. Mm -hmm. The movement coming out to just dance around the shield here, you're taking advantage of his uh High percentage. Taking advantage of high percentage, high, like Jigglypuff's floatiness to just move, maneuver around very quickly and easily. Getting really ballsy with this stuff like this dash attack and just the random four doors coming out. I told but you, it's gonna this, this exactly is the situation. Yeah, no, these are the situations where just logic needs to be not completely throughout the window, oh? but you need to take oh, a look at Oh, and a miss rest is gonna is cost so them the game. Waking up to that big sword right in your <laughs> face is just, that can hurt. Yeah. That can hurt a man's mental. So, coming out with two missed rests in game one, but now he's got the info. Now he knows when, when he can succeed and when he can't. So. He's got the info. He can, he's hopefully seeing that Dom, not Dom. <laughs> Bassett's, starting, Bassett's starting off playing a little bit conservative with the Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be too ambitious by ledge, but. Because he knows he might get caught by a rest. Oh know? yeah, no, of course. But, uh, and you'd think it'd be easier on a, a big character like uh, Ganondorf, but not the case in a game like HR. When you can move around like Bassa can on this character, yeah. it's uh, very much harder. Mm -hmm. and I can only imagine we're going to see uh, Dom Lex going to be learning a lesson or two and coming in with a completely different mindset in game two. Oh, yeah. Starting off game two with that, um, that Burger King crown. Mm -hmm. Starting to see some, starting to see some solid like advantage coming from Domlax here, keeping Ganondorf off of the platforms. Mm -hmm. Uppy's still gonna keep him in the game though. Really taking advantage of Ganon's slightly worse frame data to just Ooh. give himself these openings every single time. Not even just getting the openings, but purely maintaining that stage advantage. Mm -hmm. 
Now using it to also stall momentum just to like, like just, all right, I've got the lead. I'm chilling. Let's go. And now we're going to see maybe Dom like slow down a little bit. You know, Jilly being a character that historically camps a lot, but down smash is going to take it. And even well, we were going to see bit. that, but one of the, one of the classic things is like you just see when a player is oh, down a stock. Not oh. Again. oh, gentlemen's forward tilt? Gentlemen's like forward tilt said, you know what? I want this to go on a little bit longer. Yeah. You're not, you're not losing just yet. Plus, I think actually, no, again, it's getting Gengar versus Jigglypuff. That definitely would have killed. Probably. Oh, but good dash attack from Dom, keeping the stage. Yeah, not going to be able to recover from that far. was enough. Another forward air. Just the raw forwards, forward air off the angel platform, maybe. Raw forward air. That's another oh. advantage Ganon have when they lose the stock. You just, since you have those iframes, you lose all fear. Yeah. And on top of that, like, your attacks are absolutely insane as Ganondorf. So, just having that invincibility. Like, I play Dark Samus. I've learned that one of the best, biggest things you can do when you ever take a Ganondorf stock, do not go for a bomb set. They'll yeah. just delete your bomb and you in the process. Mm -hmm. In that time, we've gone reverted back to even stocks. Dom maintaining stage control once again. And throughout this whole set, it's been really nerve-wracking seeing uh, Dom likes to get really close to Ganondorf and you just know anything could explode. Anything could happen. He could try and go for like a rush shield break or yeah. just maintaining decent stage control with Jigglypuff's like, very good normals. Okay. Opting for a Ganon side to reset the situation. Yeah. Very good. Sending both to one stock. Almost looked like a big opening was coming out for a string, but not quite. Interesting dare. Yeah. Connecting like that. Yeah. It's like they gave Ganon the, the nipple hitbox from, from Falcon Dare. That is very much true. All right. Oh. Into the rest for game two. He Finally landed found one. It. Finally. He and I, I suspect with the best of five, we're going to see quite a few more of those coming up. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to see a lot more. He dug through the darkness, and now he's starting to get it back. <laughs> yep. Game one, we saw him miss two. You can see his little pop-off, too, when he got this. Like, yes, finally. Yeah. We're back, baby. And I don't blame him, because as much as I hate Puff, I have to respect how hard it is to land rest sometimes. Yeah. And then going straight into game... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who Dom blowed a kiss to in the audience, but they are one very <laughs> lucky guy. <laughs> so I'm going to Congo Jungle. Uh, do you think this is uh, advantage stage for Domlex or Bassett? Uh, I think maybe Domlex has <laughs> slight advantage. Here. Yeah, no, those re these rests will kill a lot earlier with a tiny blast zone. Yeah. Of course, at the same time, the punishes are also very more likely to kill with Bassett's slug. This, uh, this is, it's not even a matter, so now it's just not even a matter of, like, who's got more advantage on stage. This is just a more volatile stage for both mm -hmm. characters. And it definitely lets Bassett open up some more vertical chasing options when uh, Jigglypuff tries to recover high or something like that. Oh yeah, canceling the platform, that shield is looking like a Skittle right now, actually. Yeah. I think, as I've said, that there's been enough time for that shield to catch back up. Going all back the way air out. back Maybe air. Gonna I think that's a little bit, and he's dead. Yeah, yeah. that's going to take Bassett's stock again. I'm like really into oh. pound, into up air, into up air, into nair. Okay. That's another stock. What happened to Bassett there? Yeah. He just got jump sharked. He didn't feel that uh, too comfortable going for the rest there, but it didn't even matter. It basically kind of same situation as if he did hit the rest. So yeah, he kind of instead opted for the down smash to just try and cover ledge. A good dare into up there is going to take the first stock from Dom this game. Very excellent movement coming from Bassett to just kind of secure advantage. Mm -hmm. They were seeing some really good movement to use his like, attacks to his advantage and everything, but like Jigglypuff being such a small floaty character, it's hard to follow up on anything. Oh yeah, I know. It's very hard to follow up on anything, but once you have that little puff locked down... Um, that's going to be game Can't three. even finish my sentence before <laughs> another rest comes out. Man. It seems like on every up air, you have the opportunity to rest. It's you just up to you on whether you're, you're brave enough do. or not. You have what it takes. You got the stones for this. Yeah. Banning TNC and Mushroom Kingdom. Angry. No. You villain. You banned my favorite stage. <laughs> 
I'd be surprised. Okay. Opting for TNC Ben. What was he up the stage? Ben was that Smashville? I'd assume it was Congo Falls. Congo, no, not Congo Falls. It was um, hold on, hold on. They're going back to it. Yeah, it was Smashville. Okay. I I I just saw I see Animal Crossing. I'm like, oh, it's TNC. Lettuce. I've never heard this stage song before. Interesting. Start the battle. Both characters sticking with their both both players sticking with their <laughs> both these players are characters though, yeah? and their play styles and stuff like that they really make a name for themselves. Oh yeah, always good to see when a player has faith in their character to mm -hmm. the end. Just shows how dedicated they are, dedicated to their character's gameplay, their style, their movement, anything they can do. And both these players getting used to having a little more space to move around and playing this neutral a lot safer now that they don't have to. You know, be forced together by the stage. Oh yeah, exercising that movement, the ability to just kind of space out your stuff, play better footsies, mm -hmm. honestly. And I've noticed these platforms uh, aren't here nearly as long as an ultimate. They they really come and go. So we're gonna have to see if that maybe introduces any aspect of randomness, or if the players are gonna be ready for it. The players are ready for it, and with that big blast zone, Jigglypuff's not gonna die that easily. Good down tilt coming out from Bassett. These platforms coming back and forth, we're also going to see some, like, we're also probably going to see who's more opportunistic here as a player, too, because with those platforms there only for a short amount of time. Oh, the platform oh, the saving rest. Free 32% and some serious stage advantage. Just barely having enough time to tech on the platform and use those iframes, but... Playing on the ledge here, this could be really dangerous for most players. Very good grab coming from Domlax. Calling Bassett out on those bluffs. Amazing tech in. Oh, not quite a ledge hug, though. Hard. The last hit coming out from up air, trying to push him off stage. I love when reverse hitboxes are like uh, the end of a hitbox is used to its like full potential in games like HDR. Oh yeah, no, especially it also just looks aesthetically pleasing too, like to see the full animation of the movie used. Yeah. Starting to see some excellent stage control from Dom. Not letting Bassett back up there. Good ledge trapping. Yeah. It's not gonna, gonna miss it again. Is he gonna go into some serious edge guarding? No, he's gonna go into ledge hogging to the stock. Mm -hmm. At this point, Bassett also just throwing more things out because look at Puff. That's 130%. Any move yeah. connecting will kill. Like so. And when they're playing very grounded, it almost seems like uh, Jigglypuff is accidentally low profiling some moves, which could play towards Domlax's advantage in the rest of the set. Oh, but very much so, yeah. Down here into up yeah. smash. That was ambitious. Respect the bastard there for that for that specific interaction. spamming that back air, trying to get some use out of it, push him off stage and take an early stock, but it's not looking too good for Domlax as he takes 58% and gets launched off stage for a two stock lead. He can take a lot of risk with these guys. Good pound keeping Dom safe and then just racking up some free percent. Not even afraid of the not even afraid of the grab either. Both players gonna try to reset. Porter not quite gonna take it from all the way the platform pushes him towards center stage. Platform and delivering Dom okay. back. He's hopping into the Discord server. I'm back from my band. Yep. But that's going to be it with a quick back air to send him out. Going straight to game five. This has been an intense set so far. Mm -hmm. So let's see where they're banning. They just run it back. I can respect that. Big stage, big movement. Trying to decide whether or not to pull out the Mars.
and Dom switching to Marth. Decided game five rather than nothing for Puffy, rather for serious spacing advantage coming from Marth's sword. Going back to team, going back to Smashville. Going back to Crazy Noise Bizarre Town. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see how this spacing plays out. Uh, Already, we see it doing work, interrupting a lot of normals that Jacob would have gotten hit by from Ganondorf. Definitely. And I think we're going to see Domlax maybe getting a little more aggressive here now that his hitboxes are a little farther away from his body. The perfect Just like spacing that. on perfect the wave spacing. dash. Tipper the F-Smash into the stock for free. Ready for the roll in and gets the grab to reset again. Although I'm not sure if there's uh, any jab reset possibilities for a character like mine. Basil was ready for the roll back, just not quite so with the spacing for his jump. But Elf Tilt though, taking the stock immediately. Mm -hmm. Gandorf has a very easy time covering out his options with that F-Tilt. It's yeah. kind of insane, really. Down air, not able to connect it to anything, though. Good nair into an F-Tilt OTG. Just moving around him, getting a free grab. Might see a reversal coming out. Both players fighting for center stage here. This platform slowly drifts in. Stage control is going to stick to Bassett, though. They might change. Oh, just not quite timing it right. The shield coming out just in time, but the tipper... Tipper death smash top? is not going to matter to Ganondorf, okay. big boy. And he gets ledge hog. Oh, ledge hog to end that stock. So unfortunate. Reading that roll, though. Okay. That's just that's really going to matter in moments like these when they're both down to the wire. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine you get ledge hog like that and you, uh, you start to think you shouldn't have gone for the edge guard, but... Play, thoughts like that cannot get to these players. I mean, seed seven, seed ten, they've got great potential going forward in this tournament on winners round three. I think what matters the most, though, is um, we're not seeing anyone pop the balloon. That's true. Kind of need someone to do that. Yeah. Also, it's and not next a real pop balloon gets stuck. Good back air is coming out from Bassett just to maintain stage control. Bass is starting to play a little slower, waiting for his approaches and kind of react, playing more reactionary that reactionary. way. Reactionary. He's finally adjusting to Marth rather than like playing as if he was fighting Puff. Yeah. I throw. The edge guard coming out, not getting the ledge hog spacing, but. Good read coming from Dom, another F smash. Dom's getting a lot of good F smash reads here in the set. Trying to make the most of what he can. Back here's coming out. Yep. Good back here taking the stock. I was just playing on these platforms that uh, Ganondorf might have a harder time reaching. Good wizard kick, reading the rollout, taking the last time, bringing this down to the last stock situation. Okay. Very clean throw from that up till. This one, we're starting to see the little things connecting. Dom using a lot more throws because it's just a lot fat. It's a lot faster Ooh. than any. Kind of missing the ledge hog, but it doesn't matter. I noticed Domlax pulling out a lot of cross-ups to get under Ganondorf. Right, yeah, a lot of cross-ups and a lot of throws.